Hello and welcome to our channel, Loving Handcrafts by BMW. This is Brenda. So today, this is going to be our project. This is a dreaming tree inspired project um, that I'm making. It's going to be a Christmas present um, for a coworker, but um, I just wanted to show you my interpretation of the project um, based on what I had. Um, everything that I used on this project in terms of paper was in my stash. So I leave that up to you. Um, I didn't uh, go out and buy, but one thing, and it was this gold uh, paper to kind of do the frame, but everything else I had in my stash. But I'm gonna take you to Dreaming Tree right now where um, we can kind of take a look at how this project gets started, where you can pick up the file. Um, and uh, in you know, full disclosure, I um, followed Leo's uh, video. So I did watch his video first and I put together the project, but um, so you can watch him, you can watch me. I would support either one. Um, it's just, um, he's my crafting hero or one of them. Uh, let's take you over to Dreaming Tree right now. Okay. So this is where you can pick up the project. It's um, called uh, 3D SV, uh, 3dsvg.com. Um, this is the actual um, item. I've already purchased it. You add it to your cart and then you bring it over um, into design space. So let me take you to design space and I'll show you. Um, I'm going to bring this into to this canvas for cutting and then I'll take you to the, where I cut it out. Yeah, here it is. Let's upload it. Now, for me, um, I have the utility, uh, so I merged all these files together so it could come in as one big file. The only thing you'd have to do with outside projects is to um, look at the different layers, and um, if it is a score line, you're going to have to change it from a basic cut under operations to score. And then I'm using my uh, yeah, uh, my ship key, and then I'm attaching those. Whoops, and I did everything wrong. This is what you're not supposed to do. Yeah, I'm going to go. I'm going to space cut. Go to operations, score, to those two, and then it. Oh, I'm sorry. I kind of ungroup it. It came in grouped. So let me ungroup it. Now that should work. And now, okay, yes. Yeah, so it's that one, and then that one, and then attach. Okay. And then you continue to do that throughout the entire project. Anywhere it says, um, like, basic cut. Yep, that looks like a cut line. If that's deboss, that should be in here. And then that should attach to that. And then, um, yeah, so that's the only thing when you're bringing in outside projects. But it's a extensive layer. Um, it's, uh, it's pretty, it's got a ton of mats. Um, I'm not going to lie. But I just took my time and cut them out. Um, and um, the hardest part was picking the colors from my stash to kind of match what Leo did. But that was just the hardest part. Um, let me take you. Let me take you to back here. And let me bring, give you one last look before I take you over to where I cut this out. So um, enjoy. I'll have some music, I'll speed that up, and then when we come back, we'll do the assembly. So enjoy.
So here's my tray. I had to pull out a tray because there are so many pieces. And I don't know about you, but when you have so many projects, um, with little bitty pieces, you can, um, you could, um, possibly lose them. So I'm going to put this to the side. That's to do the frame. Um, we're going to start building our bike from the ground up. So we're going to take these two layers and we're going to glue these together. There's a quite a bit of gluing. Basically, this is a big old paper piecing project. So we're going to start with this. I'm going to move this tray up way. And we'll start here. I think it's pretty dirty. I should have pulled that off. Uh, let's see. So one of these looks better than the other. So um, when I was watching um, Leo's video and then um, gonna need my glue, uh, he was like, okay, these parts are for um, grabbing my little towel. Should put my thing off. Let me do that real quick. But, you know, oh well. Can't always be neat all the time. Uh, so some of the items uh, are doubled up for stability purposes. I'm getting my glue prepped. I'm having a hard time with my glue lately. I'm going to have to transfer it to another bottle. The nozzle is getting gunked up, so it's hard for the glue to come out. Okay, there we go. Okay, so my favorite craft glue. Now, I... Um, was trying to be faithful to the colors that were um, that Leo had and I just didn't have all the colors and again I'm trying to use what I have in my in my uh, stash so I really didn't um, use all the colors like in his suggestion um, he did half of the bike I'm just going to do the whole bike um, I did it the first time. This seemed to work out okay. Um, and so now we're just gluing these two pieces. They're the same um, together. I don't think I have enough glue. Um, so that we can make this a little bit more sturdy. Um, I apologize earlier. I said I didn't go out and buy anything I had in the stash. I did go out and buy the 12 by 12 frame. And I got lucky. Um, Michael's had a sale on uh, those on those um, frames, so I got really lucky. Um, and I am just going to stack these together. You want to get them in and put them together, and just like that. So yeah, I was pretty lucky to find them on sale. I, I was going to get them no matter what, but you could buy one and get one half of all. And um, 12 by 12, I'm sorry, I said springs, but they're actually shadow boxes. It's not something I kept in my stash. Um, but I think it's going to be a nice gift, Christmas gift. So, and it's something that I made. And in this bundle, there is a lighthouse so I will be making that because I have another co-worker who likes lighthouses so I'll be making that okay so that's how easy that that came together with no problem you just stack them this put this aside um put my little bricks on there then I move to the next thing I can remember what the next thing is yeah we're gonna go ahead and put the um i'm gonna put this piece on top of that piece i am a glitter girl um so i did mine in glittered cardstock because i didn't have a whole lot of i saw 12 by 12 cardstock but i didn't have a lot that i like i'll see how that's coming up um i think i can just put a little dab of glue just a few dots get that down in there Um, but this is your choice. Um, obviously, I didn't read the menu, and I wouldn't have. <laughs> is there another? Another. Just making sure. So I'm referring back to the picture. So I'm just making sure. Um. Um. I don't know if I'm going to cover 
I'm gonna fall on it. I don't know if I'm gonna cover the seed. I didn't mean to cover that with that much, but you know what? I'm gonna leave it. Yeah, I gotta be able. Yeah, it looks a little weird, but we're gonna work with it. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing, but this time I'm just gonna do half of the bike on just so I can um, be sure that this top piece is aligned properly. I'm not going to do like I did on the bottom piece. I just want to make sure that this piece is aligned properly. And then I'll stop and then do the other piece. Um, just because this is the piece you're going to see the most. And I just need to get it lined up properly. And once you get a line, this part lined up, the other part, the front of the bike will work pretty good. Um, I really like his 3D projects. I've done a ton of Dreamy Tree uh, 3D projects, just a ton of them. I really like them. Just checking, making sure I'm still focused. Okay, so see how you struggle? You want to really not have that doubling up. That's why I didn't do. And sometimes you can't overthink these. And so sometimes I think I'm just overthinking this right now. You just have to go for it. And, um, since I am giving this away, I am being a lot more persnickety. With the placement. Because I really, really, really not want that ghosting look. I want everything to look nice. So I'm really taking my time. Um, I remember riding bikes like this, this big bike back in the. 70s. My mom had this big old, let's call it a bus, big old bite with the seat and very nostalgic and, you know, well, oh, oh, no. I don't know. I just spill my flowers everywhere. Okay. We're going to have to stop and pick up some stuff. Wow. That was very scary. I thought I lost some flowers. This, um, I did lose a brat. <laughs> so I'm not too thrilled about that. It's somewhere on the floor. Okay. So back to what I was saying. My mom had this big bike with the banana seat. We, our kids had our 10 seat. Um, and it did have a basket on the front. And it, it was this funky color from the 70s or something like that from the 80s. I can't remember. I just remember what we used to call it. Those big old chunky bikes that weren't 10 feet. We used to call them a bus. Um, and you only need glue on this part right here. You don't need glue on that top handle. Um, since um, I didn't have that gray, smoky AC cardstock in my stash, I just picked another color. I figured it wouldn't hurt, you know? Because this was supposed to be like a shadow layer for that handle. But I didn't have that, so therefore, I didn't use that. All right, so that's the bike part. I'm gonna go ahead and put the wheels together. Because um, we've got two wheels and then these, um, again, for stability purposes. So that's gonna be next. This bike does come together really quickly. The flowers take more time. Um, the actual doing of this part takes uh, a little bit of, it just comes together quick. So we got that, and then we have these decorative pieces. Oh, I'm not all the way done with the bike, but I'll put the wheels together. And then I'll finish this, put the other, that layer on. So I'm just gonna put some glue around the rim. You're not gonna really worry about putting glue on this individual spokes. Um, because you just want to get this lined up. And again, this is only for stability purposes. So pick that up. That's what that's for. 
just to make sure, you know, the pa paper is stable. It is a pretty project. Uh, the challenge is cutting out two of these at once. That was the challenge. Because, you know, I do one, and then I do another one. The first one's my practice, just to get a handle on what's going on. Since you've never made anything like this before, at least I haven't. So all around the outside. Um, and then I'm just going to use this to line that up. It's going to be like my visual marker. And I'm going to tilt it to, tilt it to the side. That's what we're doing. And yeah, it looks like those spokes are lined up just right. And if it's not perfect, it will. Um, it's not going to be the end of the world. And so now you're really going to, um, again, I'm going to be a little bit more persnickety with this layer. So you're going to lay that, glue that layer there. And then you're going to do your darndest to get this. Um, need to find my, don't know what happened to it. Must be on the other side of my craft room. Here are my reverse tweezers. Here's a pair. Might make it a little bit easier. Yeah. Okay, see what happens. With black cardstock, you got to be a little careful with the glue. That'll make it a little bit easier. All right, and then you're definitely going to want to hit this like as best you can. Not too much, though. Just a little bit of glue. You don't want it oozing out. It's like uh, with black cardstock, you will get a shine. It'll get shiny, but you know, oh well. I don't obsess with that. As you know, it's just what it is. And if you got too much seeped out, just sop it out. Then yeah. So little beads look like that glue dried on too quick. Now I'm just gonna line that bad boy up. Then done it. And then this is imperative that you get these spokes lined up right. So let me pull back up. Get back up. So you can see what I'm doing. You can line up the spokes in the hole to get the hole lined up. And everybody should want up pretty good. Well, I'm still not quite happy. Just go work with work with me. Work with me. We can kind of push these in. And like I said, if it's not a hundred percent, it it and yeah, you know, only you know, but you know. You, you do your best. You, you you strive for perfection. We're not Borg, so we're not going to get all the way perfection, but you do your best. I'm not going to stress on it. Go to the next wheel. See yep. Well, then the right. I'm definitely going to get my glue out this bottle. It's not working. Look at it. I bought some of the, when I see the art glitter glue, I mean, I'm barely, barely art glue. I try to get extra just to have, it's, it's my go-to adhesive. So I want to make sure I have enough in-house. So when I'm doing a project like this, Pretty topped up, and I don't have to worry about it. And like I said, when you think you've got too much glue, you can top it up. Do you want enough? All right, that up. See, pull the line up the peg. All right, so let's do this second tire. Mm. The first time, it seems like it takes forever when you're doing something for the very first time. But, you know, when you do it for the second time, 
it uh, it goes a lot faster. So getting that lined up pretty good. Yeah, and there we go. Put that under the block. Then um, while I'm working on the tires, I'll go ahead and put this foil piece um, on here. And that foil piece is going to go right here. Oh, yeah. And that foil piece is going to go right there. So it'll be pretty cool. I kind of like the white wall look. Um, I'll never forget my dad had a car with white wall tires. We don't do white wall tires anymore. It's not our look, I guess. But I'll never forget. He, I guess it's on the other side of tires, but I haven't really looked. Now, my husband does all that, so I don't know. Um, I see that I got some glue on the foil, so I'm going to go ahead and wipe that up. Um, real quick, once I get this adhered, I'm going to wipe that glue up on that foil piece. And it goes down pretty quick. And so your idea is to get it around this area here. And like around the skirt the edges. So that'd be a nice shiny reflective surface. Way. And I'm so gonna take this, make sure I get that glue up off of the you can wait till it dries too. And it'll just rub right on off. Either way will work. Put that in there. Then I'll get this next one. Yeah, this was a fun project to cut out, but doing two. Ooh, ooh, mama. I did two. Bye. And uh, like I said, I've done a lot of Dreaming Tree um, pro uh, paper piecing projects. And, you know, some of my favorite ones are the Halloween one. I'm about going to be doing something for Halloween here shortly. And uh, I've got, I think I got just about every Halloween thing that he has. Um, there's a few things of the pumpkins I didn't get, um, but um, from Dreaming Tree, uh, just because I didn't like, like my speed jack o' lanterns, just wasn't me, but um. I've made quite a few things. Oh, once I do that lighthouse, I'm moving on to Halloween. Okay, so that part's done. Let me get back to the bike. And then I can add this layer. Now, there are some pieces I opted not to use um, of the project. Um, there are some things that cover the wheels. Um, I may or may not use the seat cover. It just depends on um, what, what it comes together. Um, you can use... You know, just I'm that's how I'm making it my own. So I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. I'm gonna do half of the bike. And then I'm gonna to um do the front half. Okay. Um just because I use the glitter card stock and stuff and um I just decided I didn't want to cover it up. So that was just my personal um Okay, I'm sorry. I don't think I'm in frame. So let's do that. Now it's just my personal choice. Now you got to remember when you're laying stuff on uh, glitter, uh, things don't stick down real quick. Um, so you got to be a little bit more patient with the glitter. But on the same token, you get a little more um, wiggle room to move things around. So I'm just going to pick this up off desk and um, you can really see if you don't have it lined up and so I'm using that back fender right here right there I'm trying to get that lined up and then once I start getting things lined up I can flat it around like I want and really give it a good press Thumbled out the way. I don't know if I'll put enough glue on here. But if not, you can do the painting method. You know, 
can go back and always touch it up. Well, no, I don't want to just want to stick. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's almost a shame that this is going to, this is going to get covered up with more glitter cardstock. Um, yeah. Because I really like that look. I could figure out, well, I don't want to go modify it. I was like, let's go cut that puppy off. But I'm not going to mess with it. So I'm not the best at, okay, so this, okay, this is long ago. I need the time to run it. Thanks. I usually do it the other way, but again, I'm not going to fight <clears throat> City Hall. I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm going to do what I did. That's usually not how I do it, but that's what I did. All right, I'll give that full chance to slip and slide and slide this in place. But not too bad. Let me pull my hand, put that up. And I usually have a, um, a, a, a cleaning, like a cleaning white shoe. I forgot to grab one when I, before I got started, or I'm not going to go get it. Uh, just for this. Okay, so I'm going to let this sit for a minute with the heavy blocks on it. <clears throat> and, um, I'm going to go ahead and put this silver, this gold, I mean, this piece over it. I mean, it's really nice. It's really nice, but that's the next piece that's going to go on it. And then I'm going to put the, uh, yeah, I'm going to put the wheels on there. I hate to cover it up. I really, really do. Technically, I wouldn't, you don't, I don't necessarily need that piece, you know, and the wheels are going to go behind that. But that would bring in the gold. So I'm going to put it on there because it'll tie some of that gold frame in. So I won't omit it. It'll tie that gold trim matte piece. So I just added to it. And it's a nice contrast. If I had to do, if I had done cut one and put it together and then turned around and cut two, I would have made different paper choices. But I didn't do that. Um, okay. There's a, what? There's something missing. There's a piece missing. And so I have this tray. Oh, there's a dot missing. Here it is. There's a little dot. There we are. I'm going to add that too. That goes there. I'm looking back at the other bike, making sure I got everything. Okay. So now I got these breads. So I just picked some breads out of my stash. And then when we do the breads, I'm going to get everything on the bike. Um, and then I'm going to do the flowers last and then put together the frame. But I got these brands from Amazon. Um, I got a big bag of them. So I just picked some colors that I thought would be nice. So. Before I do that, do I want to do the. So that's that. And that's going to go there, like that. And then on top of that, this goes on top of this, and then this goes on top of that. That's so look at the bike. And then the wheels go. And you're using the bread so the wheels could turn, even though if you, I'm going to put it in a picture frame. But, you know, it's a detail. We don't have to use the bread, but um, it's going to go like that. That's the bike put together. So I am going to put the wheels on last. So I am going to go ahead and put these on. 
the basket, which I don't know why I got to cover it up. You know, technically, I could have just did it like that. But I look, but I'm going to keep going. I like the little contrast in it, in it so I'm just going to lose that. But you can decide to make it your own. You don't have to do exactly everything. I've learned that as well. Um, you don't have to do everything as presented. You can make some executive decisions because it's your project. I really hate covering up that foil. Like I said, if I had done two, one first, um, I would have kept these pieces in foil. Um, I would have done something different. Don't put glue on the uh the uh this this part but i had already committed so i just used what i had but yeah i would have cut these in foil and then put that or cut this in foil and not in glitter I like sparkle, so, and it's going to be behind the glass case. So you don't have to get these, all these little grates, just get the best you can. So you don't have to do all, everything, but that would be my choice. If I ever make it again, I know now how to do it. I want to get enough. And then I got some glue on I'm just dabbing it off I'm gonna get that glue off my other finger then it's gonna run it up Whoop. run that up to pet okay yeah it's like what is that the right piece yeah okay so see I smoothed it and now I got glue over here fifth thing it uh does uh, dry clear. So that's the good thing. I'm moving it down. Just to get it. And there we go. And then we'll put glue on this. And so, uh, the dream, I like the dreaming tree project because they do provide you with markers and visual indicators on where things are supposed to go. Especially with these large, um, a multi-leveled layered paper piecing projects, so that is pretty cool. Oh, I wasn't supposed to put glue on those. I'm just gonna wipe that out. I was always, don't put glue on that. Don't do that. <laughs> There's nothing there to glue to. Just wasting your glue, and then you're just matching that back up. I think I did that the first time too, not paying attention and went all the way up with the glue. Don't, don't tack that down. There's nothing to tack it to. All right. This bike is coming together. The last thing are the wheels. So what I'm going to do is they go behind and then I'll set everything aside and work on the flowers. Okay. So I'm going to stick that through there. So the wheels do go behind the frame of the bike and then I decided not to cut mine um I tried to put the the these parts this part um I, I got it in there where you really can't see it and I tried to hide it behind one of the spokes so I wasn't about to try to cut something that I could eventually mess up because I know me I'm going to make a boo-boo somewhere, and then I'm going to be mad. But uh, the little brads do come in handy, and it does allow for some interaction. Like, um, I think when Leo was saying, you could add it to the frame and not put the glass. So just use the shadow box, but don't, uh, but don't um, put the, uh, the, frame on it the glass on it and then you can kind of move your wheels 
So the bike is done. Those wheels do move. And like I said, I didn't cut mine because they are kind of thin. I just made sure when I, um, I'm moving that bread, uh, so I can see it. So you can see it. I'm moving that bread, uh, that pull back piece, the fastener in between two spokes. So it can kind of sort of be hidden. Okay. So this sits to the side. And then now we're going to talk about these flowers. So there's quite a few of them that we're going to put together. Okay. So we have a couple of set of flowers. So we're going to start with, let me just get everybody in the frame. We're going to start with this end of the, the basket. So we got this flower and we got this flower. And then the yellow goes in the inside. And then one of these big guys go here. And then it's this, that's the setup. And then we have a purple flower. Put that to the side. We have this big purple flower. And we've got, I got a, I just, so I kept the little bitty, these little bitty pieces in a baggie. So when I did this project, I made sure as I was cutting these flowers and moving them off my mat, I put them in baggies because, again, those are a lot of little doggone pieces. And I didn't want to have to stop and recut just one of those little flowers. Lord have mercy. That would have been a nightmare. Okay, so that's that. Um, so we're going to do the greenery. So this is the greenery. So this big guy is going to go here. And I should have... Another greenery. This guy's gonna go here. We should have this guy is gonna go here. And that's the greenery. So I'm gonna pull out a doll. Oh, and let me lay out my other flowers as well. So I got another purple, got a big purple, and a little purple. And then there's some stamens that go in the center. Purple, little purple. And then there's some flowers that go on the other side. Okay, so we'll do this first. Okay, so we're going to take this. And we're going to just use my dowel and curl the leaf towards me. And then we're going to take the tip and curl it back. And you can do whatever you want to do with this however you feel but that just gives a little bit of life and we're going to go that bad boy on that oh, yep on that right here right there and like i said because this is glitter it takes a minute for everything to catch um only because it's glitter so I'm going to move it this way so you can kind of see what I'm doing. Then I'm going to do the same thing with this cool guy. bad guy. I'm going to take my small dowel. I have a bigger dowel too. I don't think I have it over here. Just going to curl those leaves towards me. I'm curling it towards me. So I'm between my finger and just running it. And then this one you want to kind of do in that direction. Yeah. See, so, you know, it covers that. That's what that part is for. It kind of give you an idea of where that goes. So I'm going to stick a little glue here. Back. Yeah. This was the most complicated part was watching Leo and then figuring out the place for the really greenery. And then the flowers. Oh, make sure. Sorry, my head gets in the way. Just trying to make sure I get it in the right spot. So yeah, you want to do the greens first, and then you're gonna build up the layers. And I don't think I got this in the right spot. Yeah, because this actually should have been. Let's see if I can move it a little. Yeah, that. Okay, that should have went that way. Now that I look at it. Okay. 
Oh, it didn't hurt anything. I'll just re-glue it. I forgot to follow my own advice. There we go. I was like, why is that all bunched up together? There we go. Okay. Ooh, disaster. Work from that. I'm going to put a little bit more glue on that. Because you see, got that. So it kind of tells you where stuff goes. So if you're paying a really paying attention, does it go like this? Which way does it go, Brenda? Really? Really? I mean, you're going to doubt yourself at this point? I guess it really doesn't matter. Just so long as you get it on there. Yeah. Okay, yeah. There, there, that's it. Okay, I think that's for the other. Okay, and then this one, and do the same. Just give it a little bit of life, just a little flick. Not too hard, because you don't want to, um... There we go. It's about that. You don't want to, uh... Make a mistake and then do your paper. Uh, flip your paper. Okay, can we use the bottom of the towel? Kind of press that in. Okay, so those are the greens first. We're going to work on the big flower. Um, and then we're going to take this and we're going to use the doll again. And then I'm just going to curl these leaves, just curl them up, not too hard, just really delicate, a light, light hand. That's all you really need to flick, to do the little, sounds like a flick. And, um, yeah, cause I, I, I don't want to recut this. I don't want to stop. I don't want to have to recut it. And then you can kind of cut it a little. And then I'm going to move this out the way, and then I'm going to do the same thing. Very light. Don't want to grip anything. So that's what you're doing. And you can do as much or as little of this pearl, or none at all. Um, but it does make, uh, it does give a little bit more of a, a lively look so the idea is to go ahead and then lay the leaves down i mean the flowers down and then you're gonna um then i'm gonna put this on glue on this and put that guy down that's it i don't think i'm doing it right <laughs> And then, yeah, you're going to do it like that. I'm doing it right. And um, this is shimmer paper. So, again, it's kind of like um, the leaves. I had shimmer paper. Um, and I like shimmer paper for these projects. Um, so, it does take a minute for it to catch. And so, you're going to lay that down. And then you're going to lay it. I think we all did the flowers first and laid it down. But I'm doing me. So... And then you're going to try to, yeah, shift it around so the petals are in between each other. And then you can fiddle with the petals afterwards. So I won't do it on the flower next time. I'll do it the right way so you can see what I'm doing. So you're just getting these petals in between each other. And you just scoot some things over. And if you scoot it enough, it should rotate and then look just fine like that. Come in a little. Okay. And then your big stamen. Um, I didn't do this last time, so I'm going to do it this time. And I have some really, really, really small um Oh, let me grab my scissors. I have some small, um, and then I get, didn't grab those either, but I have some micro pop dots I'm going to be using. 
but I really wanted to get some contrast um, from these uh, stamens. So I'm just going to be cutting up a few of these. Uh, I, I didn't do it on the first one and I regretted it. So I'm going to do it on this one because it does give you a lot of dimension and I'll end, um, pop that up and it does look better. So I'm going to do that for both of these. I'm going to pop it up just a little. And my dogs are barking at somebody and I don't know who they're barking at. I'm grabbing a little micro pot dot. Pot dot. Micro right there. Just in the wrong. If I could get it in the center, I'd be even better. But I don't think it matters. And then I'm gonna move it and get it. And I find that when I use these, I just like to look at put a dab of glue on it just to get it to stay. Just a dab. And you don't have to do this step. Um, let me put some glue on there too. But I like to put the glue on there. And then that gives me a little bit of grace. And then there's my We need to try to use this a little bit more in this project. Oh, and I just saw something that popped up. Okay, then still a little bit of full on that. Want to be all weird today? It's not so hot here um, in Mississippi. I don't know if that like that. Take that off. Maybe just fall here. Sometimes you gotta try it and see if you like it. Okay, I think just one is enough. And I have to really sit through that. Sure. Okay, um, had to do a little bit of reset, so I'm ready to finish this project. So here is where we're gonna do the purple flower. So we're gonna do the same thing again. And let's see if I can, yep, that looks pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna take my wooden bow and i think these are just skewers from you know uh yeah to, to uh what do you call that uh kebabs yeah so i'm just gonna go ahead and do that one and i'm gonna do this one too while i'm working on it and then i'm just rolling that up i'll turn it just so you can kind of see it's nothing too fancy with this just rolling it up and bowling it up. Blender. <laughs> okay, got my bag of flowers. This is making sure I had everything together. And a little bit so I'm gonna have to go pick that up. That fell off the floor. Put that on here. Okay. So this flower is going to go here, and then you're going to want to try to put it in between. And then this flower is going to go here. And then you're going to want to get the petal in between the leaf. Like when you put it in there. So you want to get these petals like in between the leaf. So. Okay. So let's grab our clue. Cool, oh, that got coffee. <laughs> Getting it done. Right there. Oh. So you can kind of see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to stick that bad boy right there. And, and then we're going to put the little stamens on there. I'm just over here. And just put it on there and just use that. Okay, right there. So doing that little dry fit does seem to help. So we're gonna use my little uh these are so small what I'm gonna be putting on here that I'm not gonna be doing anything with the glue dots. 
So I kept these in this baggie till the very end of this project because these are so small. Um, and this big piece has got to go here. And then if there's another orange piece that's pretty big, it's going to go right there. And then for that little purple piece, there's a little... Like, sure, get it. Yeah, there's a little... A little bit bigger, I think, this one. I'm just looking at it, there should be two... Yeah, that's one. And there's another one. I think that one goes here. Yep. So there's another big one that's going to go too. And then there's this guy going to go here. And then there should be another one going to go here. Now, if I lose all these pieces, oh, no, I I'm not going to cry. I, I didn't sweat. Don't sweat the small stuff. So I'm just going to move this up the, out the way and put a dot of glue, just a little dot. I think if you got too much, chop it up, drop it in place. Don't overthink. Um, I didn't mention earlier, but I did do, I didn't do a whole lot of inking um, with this project. As a matter of fact, I just used some of my pastel markers because the paper wasn't solid. That looks too big. Yeah, that is too big. There's a smaller one. Just move that out. The way. Yeah, that's too big. Vertical? Okay, okay. They just this one. Yeah, just that one. Um so I use my pesto marker. Oh, there's no glue in there, so it's stuck. Uh just to kind of outline the flowers. Um, only because the, uh, some of the paper that I had choices that I selected was a solid. So I had a white core. So that's the, um, that's what I used, uh, as opposed to inking every flower. I did do the purple a little bit. I did hit it with some, uh, ink because I didn't feel like I had the proper, uh, or I didn't just pull it out. Um, so the, around the edges, I use the pastel markers in orange and yellow to cover up the white. Um, so you can't really see that. Okay, so that's done with that. Let me just make sure everybody's in place. Yep, that's done with this side. This is going to be the where the the most of the bunch of the flowers, which is kind of ironic because you want to be able to see over the clay if you're, you know, if you're if you're doing your thing so there's two shades of green so we're just going to line these up so there's a i've got a dark green and a light green and um hey um am i missing is it the right one okay yeah this is the right green so i think that goes here so you're going to do the green things again so that's going to go here so the dark green is going to go on the bottom. And then the light green is going to go on the top. So those, you can kind of see that there's a darker and a lighter green. Okay. So we're going to lay that down. So we're going to do that. Once you get this part, putting the frame together, uh, once you do all of this, it's pretty, you know, it's not, oh, Okay, don't put glue on the outside of those, just on the stem. Don't put any glue on the, the the leaves, which is what I did. I just remembered there's no glue needed. So just right here, which is counterintuitive because we're used to putting glue on everything. But you don't need to put glue on that. And then you're just going to line that up as best you can. Get that lined up. And sometimes you have to pick it up off your work surface. So you're just going to line up those dots. And, and I got to go let my dogs in, so I'll be back.
Uh, Willie went fishing this morning, so that's what's really quiet right now. So I can get this done while he's gone fishing. Okay, so yeah, not everything's slid into place. Oh, and I don't want to lose that there. So you should have good enough glue on it. Uh, again, this is um, glitter hard stock behind this so it takes a minute for everything to stick down but be patient it's worth it it is so pretty it's uh, still even you know even though i used um you know what i'm gonna put it on here and that way i will put it on the leaves where it doesn't belong how about that ha. smarter not harder um even though uh i i would have gone in a different direction with my paper choices again like I said, I used what I had, and I had the most of the glitter cardstock. Could have used white uh, for a lot of this, or whatever color, because it's your bike. It's what you envision. That ultimately is the main, main uh, deciding factor in what you have in your stash. This is a good way to use up some of that paper, too. Um, like I think he used some pattern, uh, cardstock and I didn't have any pattern cardstock and I didn't want my bike to look weird. And I'm just saying, so I didn't use that for the part right now. Okay. Let me make sure I get everybody adhered properly before I move on. That's the key. Just be patient. Let it get that glue, grip that glitter cardstock. This had just been smooth cardstock, we'd have been on to the next step. But this is okay. So we're gonna get the greens down. Um, I'm gonna do some curling again while I'm waiting on that to sign it set up. And you get some of these leaves curled. So um I did the same thing with the um yeah. Uh with the leaves, I had a pastel marker that was in green. I think it was called horse radish or something. And then I just went over the outline them. And uh, while I got everything, I'm going to go ahead and just do all the flicking. And then I'll have to worry about it. So I'm going to flick, flick, flick. You guys will have to watch me do that. Just stay real careful though, Brenda. Don't mess up nothing to the home stretch. So you just want to add a little bit of life, as much or as little as you like. And and, and Leo has a point. This does give a more 3D realistic look. Uh, it takes a little bit of time. And if you're worried about um, ripping the paper, you can just roll it. You don't have to work it like I was looking. I'm just wanting to be very careful with these. I really don't want to have to do anything extra. So, yeah, I could have done um, all that once. I should have did them off camera. But you get to see. Oh, I'm sorry, girl. I'm just talking and not even in the camera range. I apologize. Um, no, it's my bad. Not paying attention. Okay. Okay, so we get the rest of these flowers, bring them in frame so you can see. I am curling them. Just gonna, because I, I want to really get through this part and I don't want to have to stop and curl. So I'm just curling them now. And then I can just lay all my flowers down. Should have did that earlier. I had to take a uh, pause. Should have just did that. But you know, let them learn. This is real, folks. This is what happens when you craft. Really not hiding anything from anybody. This is just how it goes. And I don't pretend to be a big, you know, all big and professional. Just starting out. So we will get these, please. Get these flowers. But it is so well worth it. This, you know, it's a lot of little pieces, but you give it your love, like for loving hands. That's why you give it all your love. 
and you do, you know, do what you can when you can. Okay, I'm missing anything. Yeah, these guys, these tropical little bits. So they're just gonna blow those up a little. And you can kind of curl as much or as little as you like the little spiky bits. So take care of that. Don't feel there. Oh, I'll mess that up, Brenda. To that. Okay, so yes, the pups are rolling in and out of the studio right now, the craft room. They're rolling in and out. I didn't shut the door, so now they're coming to keep mommy thumping. But that's okay. We'll take it. Okay, I'm going to finish this part. So the next step um, is whoops, yeah, is laying down the alternate green color. So we're going to lay those. So those are like giving you that shadow, like contrast layer. So again, I'm going to be using this as my guide, just up the stem, not anything on the leaves and laying that down, getting that lined up. If I remember from memory, this is how it goes, but you know, if not, it won't hurt anything. Thing. Okay. Leo and his team. Oh, they have such oh, attention to detail. So I like working with his project. And I'm, I'm going to try to find another 3D project. I have some. Uh, did one for Miss Mandy. That was pretty cool. I've done Christmas signs from her oversight signs and um what cool on that. Um it's for Halloween and Christmas and Easter. I think she's got one out there. I'm trying to look for another three D project. Because I like to do three D three D projects. I like to do cards, you know, my go to is cards. Um but you know, sometimes it's nice to get a little bit of different feel, and these these projects are different. Yeah, That's that direction. So yeah, and like I said, Leo and his team does a good job of doing visual cues and markers. You can line stuff up. We really appreciate it. So I'm just getting all in there. I got a few more greenery to lay down. Uh, or say, I hope I'm not missing something. People on his type this time. Okay, now something goes there, something goes here, and something goes there. And I don't know, we'll just go in where. I am missing a greenery. Yep. I am missing a greenery. And then I think I used it on the wrong side. So <laughs> we're just going to make this work. Okay. I'm going to put that there. Yep. I put this one. This one should have went over here. And this one. Should have went over here, but that's okay. We'll make it work. Uh, so I'm going to use this big boy right here. I'm going to use this guy right here. And I'm going to use, yeah, I'm going to use this guy right here and I'm going to use this guy right there. So I guess it really doesn't matter. I'm going to make it work. So it really won't matter. So we'll just make it work how it works. And this should go break. Um, again, I'm not going to be overly fussy with it. I'm just going to make it work. There you go. Huh. 
so okay, Brenda, dropping stuff everywhere. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. 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 gonna make it all wet. Well, it's like, oh, something's been, I wasn't paying attention, talking too much, but it'll work out. Okay. Every time it's that, just give that a few minutes to do what it's saying. And I'm going to move that in between these. So I'm going to, I moved this in between here. And then I'm going to do this thing with this. Just to, because I just screwed that up. Okay. So we'll let that sit up over there. Then we're going to put together our flowers real quick. While I'm putting that out there. Um, I did it the opposite way. Because sometimes, I mean, I guess it really doesn't matter. I like that look the opposite of the, which I'm going to do again. Um, I just kind of like the way that looked on the front of the thing. Oh, I did it that way, but oh, let's um, maybe I'll just see kisses. And it goes like that. But I really like, no, okay, do what I like. So I liked it that way, and that's what I'm going to do. In here, and in there, just for a little bit of time. Because um, that's not how he had it in his picture. But this is my bike and my flower. I'm going to do what I like. Yeah. And then I'm going to take my dowel and try to move this guy around a little. Move these petals so I can get them in between. That's the trick. These flowers. Got to. Get the petals in between each other so they're offset a little. Sometimes you can lay it down and it looks just right, and then sometimes you'll get a petal. But you don't want to move the petals around like that. I don't think I got it all the way. Um, and then we're gonna do this guy, and again we're gonna make it bigger. Um, gotta pop that, pop that up. And my sugar paper is the same color on both sides, so it really doesn't matter which side um, you do. I'm going to put a little glue on that and stick it in there. And then I'm not going to pop that, that. I'm just going to put this glue on that and stick it in the center. And hopefully get it kind of, yeah. You know, as best I can, get it centered. Mm -hmm. Again, like I said, this is sugar paper, so it tends to move till it glues it. Don't play with me, y'all. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. That's gotta be pretty. Pull off the one back of that. Okay, I'm gonna try to get that. It still looks a little off, but oh well. And then, so yeah, I actually like that better, but what do I know? Okay, so <laughs> there you go. So now it's the purples. Okay, so it's gonna be this purple here, and then this purple here. Get that going. Get that going, going. So that's that. Then you're going to get that staggered in between those petals. And this one almost ripped. Almost. Didn't quite. Um, I stopped fiddling with it. So I'm going to get it like right in there. And then I'm going to stagger it in between those sleeves. 
I'm not sure. There we go. And then we're going to go ahead and... I'm not sure where that goes. Hmm. Scratching my head. Um, got two of them, and I'm not sure where these two go. <sighs> oh, okay. Yeah, I know where to go. Just this flower. Okay, got it. Got it, got it. So we're going to do this flower next. Uh, let's finish the purple. So it should be... Pick up stick. It should be this guy. The part two. Roll. It's this guy right here. That. She. Can you take that one? Yeah. Pat yellow. And then that's gonna be, I think, that guy. The one I'm listening to. I think that's too big. Okay, I'm not gonna mess with that. Yep, no, we'll take that off. Oh no, we take that off. I found it. There. And there should be another one. Okay. And then, yeah. Perfect. So we'll do that for me. Yeah, so I said these little pieces are a um, hot mess of this one, but it's worth the it's worth all the effort. So you can easily get confused, but you know what? You just put it where you think it goes, and then call it a day. Defending. Only. And I might have had it backwards. Do you know what? I'm not gonna cry. It's gonna make it work. Top okay, so yeah. Yeah. that one right there. Get that one in. So, and move it out. That one going. Then we're gonna do this one. Well, and that one. Stay under. Oh yeah, rotate it around. But then it gets to where I want it. It's probably better if I use my piece of huh? Not using the tools. Yeah, well, you can kind of see where it needs to go. And you don't want it to be on top of each other. You want it to be off that. There we go. Just a tad. And you can kind of move the petals around. What goes right here? And right there. And. We'll slide that right on in there. Did it backwards. I should lay this one down first. But you will. Oh well. We'll make it work. And then those stamens. <clears throat> We're going to go right here. And I won't pop that back. That's just too small to be fiddling with that. Stick it right there. Oh, yeah, silly party. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Here in this little pad to just do that. It's here. And kind of center it as best you can. And then we're going to put down these flowers, these two. These two spiky ones, they go, um, they're the same size, so they're going to go, like, layer in between each other. Let's go there. And then they're going to go like that. 
and it looked like little stars. So they're going to go in between. And then they have these little funky yellow ones right here. That little funky. But you can't see it. That funky one. I thought I'm between there. I'm just going to pick the petals apart. Make sure they're kind of stacked. So that goes right here. Tropical on there. That goes right there. And I'm going to do the same thing with this one. I don't know if I curled this one. I use some ombre paper for some of these flowers. And the reason I use the ombre is because I don't want to have to ink everything. Um, so it had some light and dark spots on the paper, which is why I chose it. So I didn't have to ink. And um, then there are paper cores white, I just used my pastel markers to uh, cover up some of the white so you wouldn't really see it. You, it wouldn't be distracting. That's how that's coming together. And again, I'm not really fussing with it. Just get it in there. And that gold started to go right there. And I didn't do a really good job of this one. Juror won't tell. It's a lot of covered up. So we'll do there. And stick that bad boy down. So I'm going to stick all the flowers down, then I'll go back and put in the stain. Then I'll have to deal with getting those flowers placed. Okay, so this guy goes here in between the leaves. This guy goes here, and this purple guy goes here. And that's our basket of flowers. So let's get that laid down. And then we'll put the stains on, and then the next thing we do is mount the frame and do the boardwalk. And we will call this a done project. I called that using my pickup tool. It's a lot easier if I did that. And so all I'm doing is making sure you can see some of that petal. I'm just putting that flower over ever so slightly. So it'll be in between. And where you place the flowers really doesn't matter. You could have done that in the opposite direction. So just do you. Okay, I'm going to slide you right underneath there. Because I don't know why I'm having a whole bunch of flowers in the front of the basket. But that's where they designed them. Below I had the back. I don't have any. I don't have any. Yeah. Ooh. Yes. That's the night scene that bothers me. Okay. And then we'll really that light in there. So you can kind of see some of the leaves. Contrast. Colors. It's really pretty. Sorry. So I should have. Well, look at that. Two. But I don't have three of these. Well, I wanted to keep them in the bag. Oh, now I got three. Keep them in the baggie, but I found it. Okay, so I got three. So now we can get these placed. So this guy is going to go here. So pick that up. Get this side here. And there should be another yellow one. Oh, that guy goes here. Backwards. And the cat comes there. There. Big guy goes here in any direction that you want. And you have to see any particular direction. Just move on there. That. And I'll move that down a little. This guy goes here. Here, like fall, and then this little duty dad comes here. Then our bike and our flowers are done. 
days. Okay, so that's that. Put that to the side. Mm -hmm. Let that do its do its thing, and then let's put together the boardwalk. Um, so I grab here's the boardwalk. Um, this is some wood veneer. Um, so I'm going to use something slightly different for the veneer. So it'll hold. Give me a sec. So that side goes like so. And this is going to go on top of it. I'm going to use something for that. So I'm going to move that out of the way and I'm going to put some glue. Glue. Um, I'm going to use some score tape because that is wood veneer and you need to use score tape um, on the front when I'm adhering something to the front of the wood, not liquid glue because it doesn't hold what I was, the instructions that I had. So I got my score tape. And now you know why my desk got all gluey. I had glue. I don't think I have enough glue right here. And no, I don't. I don't have enough glue. Uh, so I can do a little bit of maneuvering. Oh, well, here we go. And then I'm just going to line up those holes on that side. Get this side going. And then she's our table. And then do that so hot. So let's try again. And all of a sudden, I'm wanting to get to sniffles. <clears throat> the first time I did it, it went down so smooth. It was unreal. So I didn't have any problems. Um, and uh, for the placement of the bike, there are some score marks. Okay. okay, there we go. Let me close up this right here. Yeah. It, it's a and then for this, I'm going to have to use some score tape. I think that's my score tape. Yeah. And, um, because, um, yeah, it's it from, oh, that's not double sided either. So that should work. I thought this was poor tape, but it should work too. We're not going to use a little bit of glue on a uh, cherry veneer. Um, hope that it's small enough. But you know, I'm not going to really, like I said, I'm not going to select the small detail. I just need enough to get it adhered. Um, I think I did that too much. Good. Too much. Come on. I stood it right here. And, um, I'm going to try to put like a little bit in between. I'm not going crazy with it, y'all. Just enough to get it to stick down. Because, again, it's going to be inside a frame. And any uh, excess, I can go ahead and remove, you know, Then I could try to split it. I'm not the best at cutting. Not the best at all. But I'll try. Okay. Well, again, again. Just so the adhesive won't stick through. Like I said, I'm not overly concerned. I just need enough where it'll lay down. Um, I don't know what it is about that. And this like, this says it's cherry wood veneer. So I guess there's something to do with the wood that doesn't like the liquid glue. So while well, I'm using that. Hey, got too much. Okay. Not too bad. Not too shabby for a person who hits cutting. I do need just leftovers for the nature. Jump at the bottom. 
like I've said, I'm not overly concerned. I just need to get it. Um, and I am going to drop a little bit of glue on top of this pour tape or this uh, double-sided adhesive. It's not actually pour tape. Um, just like, okay, to the other way because that's not a beer. There we go. Uh, just so um, if I don't get that uh, railing piece down, just so I have a little bit of grace. Sorry, I got the sniffles right here. Okay. Well, that's that. that was, that's my solution. And I'm going to have to release the backer paper. Put that to the side. And then, like I said, I'll leave it, uh, put the liquid glue, just a little bit of glue on top. Oh, oh. The score table. Oh. I see how you want to play. That's a little. Not yeah, this this side uh, liquid adhesive is down there. Good, it's really good. I'll try to put the link in the description on where I got the cherry veneer. Um, I think I got it from Amazon. So I was working on a like a cigar box with Leo and I had never really used uh this wood veneer before and uh found out the hard way when I did like I like I said I cut two um and this this actual wood veneer hates liquid glue so I didn't have or tape in my stash so I had to redo the box and I made it for one of the slaughter steak in. And when I redid it, I had to do it twice. Um, it, uh, and I hated it. It didn't stick to the, 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 the actual cherry veneer, this part didn't, um, it didn't, it did not adhere to anything. It just was the awful hot mess. Okay. So I know one side is, yep right side one side has uh like I said I'm not overly concerned about getting it all on every little railing I just need to get into the stick and I probably put the glue down so I could lift it up and reposition it and enough of it to step down and then I can just use my hand to get rid of some of that excess it has a decent cottage wall, string edge, and all that glue cool off. Just trying to get some of that adhesive off of here. Maybe a little bit of a pop green. All right, and it's, it looks perfect. Okay, moving off the way. So. Up the line. Now that's done. I'll set that to the side. And then let's get to our fray together. There it is. And again, I paper clip these pieces together. So had I done again, had I known, uh, I would have tried to use just some regular white cardstock, not glitter cardstock. Um, Technically, I could turn it over and do it like this with the square. I think what I'll do, so I won't have such a hard time. I'm going to go ahead and get these glued together first. So I'm going to lay down a nice bead of glue. I'll be I'm not only going to go so far with the glue, and then I'll do the other side. Apparently, uh, my camera turned off, so you didn't get to see me do all of the finished product. Um, so you'll get to see this part. Um, you didn't get to see me put together the frame, but this is the frame. Um, and this paper is the, um, from Michael's. Uh, this 
a friend came together. I think that's the only thing you're missing and a boardwalk came together. Um, so yeah, I'm going to uh, put it out there. Just being perfectly honest, my camera stopped recording and you didn't get the last half of that. I don't think you're really missing a whole lot. The main part was the focus of this. And um, I just eyeballed this part. Um, so yeah, um, if you like, subscribe, comment, let me know. Um, I will be sure to put a link to uh, Leo's video from Dreaming Tree so you can see the end of the process. But um, it came together fairly quickly after that. It was just maneuvering this in place. But I just wanted to show you. And um, yeah, I apologize for the camera stop working. So uh, please like, subscribe, or comment. And I will see you with my next project, whatever that may be. And uh, see you on the next time.